Hi and welcome to Add More Zest with Diamonds. My name's Rebecca, also known as Four Kids at 147. And people have been asking how I work on a large painting, um, just sat sort of at the couch. So I thought before I move this out of the way for my daily activities, I would do a quick video to show you. So this is our conservatory. Do excuse the noise. We do have printers on the go. Um, so if you hear that in the background, that is my daily life. Uh, but this is where I tend to sit on the in an evening. You can sort of see I tend to sit to this far side, cushions a little bit lower, um, to do my diamond painting. So at the moment I do have a Minions painting on the go. So uh, this is it. It is a very large one. It is about 46 across, uh, but it is a, about 146 long, something like that. So I have this fold-up table. This is from B&M in the UK, costs about £10. You can fold it up, lay it flat. It is a little bit bigger than my A3 easel. I, as I've mentioned on other videos before, I have, I use pipe lagging or pipe insulation. You could potentially use a pull noodle to wrap my diamond painting on. So this is my completed section and this is my yet to be done section, which is a little bit smaller. Now for this, I tend to roll it up and I took it just on top of the easel there as there is less now so there is not a lot left it does often fall off and just hang um, but that's fine it's it can go either way because it's not in my way while I'm working while I'm working on it I have the completed which due to the weight of the diamonds tends to stay in place a little bit easier. So as you can see, there is just a tiny little lip that side and not a very big lip that side. I'm mainly using the easel, uh, but quite often, I mean, occasionally when I had it rolled up, you know, when I was working right near the beginning, occasionally it would knock off if I knocked the easel and it would unroll a little bit. But it doesn't hit the floor anymore, so that's a bonus. Um, so yeah, this is where I sit and diamond paint. I can roll this down so that my painting is further down on the easel, which means I'm not leaning the same way, or it can be higher up. Also underneath there is, and I've just dropped it, but underneath there is my light pad. Uh, I'll deal with the actual painting in a bit, but my light pad sits on top of my easel and that's how I work. I did used to work just on the table on its own, um, but I found I did get the neck ache that I, that I don't get if it's, if it's on an easel. I also then have the likes of my diamonds are on the couch next to me, or sometimes I do put them on the top of my cart. Uh, this is my little Ikea mini cart it's not the big it's not the bigger one uh, it's the small one uh, and it does have things like trays clips scissors a little bin for any rogue diamonds and i also have hung on the end the extras for the minion painting and then when i pack up sort of on an evening i will either move the easel to my craft room and fold up the table and then I will just move my little cart over to this corner and it will just sit there out of the way sometimes I move it into my craft room but only if we tend to be doing something at the moment that chair is holding my cardigan um, because it's rather warm but yeah that is how I do a large painting it's currently fell off <laughs> because I did knock it um, you know, a, a table, I don't know if the table's easier. I find the couch comfier when I'm sat on the couch doing it. I find that much better than being sat at the table. 
which I can do. Um, I also find that I tidy either tidy it away a little bit more or I move my cart over there. I tuck my table in down the side if I know I'm going to be pulling it back out again. Um, but it's nice that I can then sit on the couch with Hobby while he's watching some TV and I'm diamond painting away. If I'm working on the likes of a 40 by 50, I don't mind if they hang out over the edge of the easel. I slide it across according to what, what I'm working with um, and then I just let the end droop over the top. The main thing is if it droops down towards the table, that's when I make sure that I roll it so that it doesn't get in my way while I'm diamond painting. One other thing I do is I will occasionally move my light pad just slightly off the easel. No way that it's going to get knocked or fall off, but I will move it over so that I am making my easel space bigger and then I can work from that side and I will actually do the same the other way. My light pad is a wireless one, but it was charging last night. Um, I will also move it over just a little bit this way as well. Enough that mine's quite a big easel, so when I tap it, sorry, big light pads, when I tap it, it it's not going to flip off. I won't do it, you know, more that if I accidentally hit it, it could fall off. But sometimes just that extra couple of inches to the side can help the diamond painting and of course help me see the symbols so that I can continue to work and I slide the diamond painting from one end to the other. It's not the most glorified setup but it works for me and it means I can diamond paint while sat on the couch um, and enjoying the company of others. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.